Good afternoon from USS Midway Museum. We are headed off to a very late start today. It is already noon, 12.01 to be exact. We just took the morning to chill and veg after two days in a row of San Diego Zoo and then Legoland, early mornings, long days. We needed a bit of a rest, so we're gonna go check this museum out. Uh, we've already used up all of the stuff on our um, city pass, uh, but because it is museum month in February, we are gonna come check this place out because they're offering 50% off admission. Okay, so even with the 50% off, it was still 34 US dollars for us to good, I feel for two. I don't mind paying that for two people. I would, that would be a lot of money for one person for each. Free audio or tour pickup. Ooh, okay, that makes it better. Okay, this is what the little audio tour looks like. She says you just like point it at the thing and then listen. So let's go give it a try. Oh, you have to put it really close to your head. What's the difference between the yellow and the green? What? <laughs> okay, we just watched the film that's in this like theater back here. Um, and I think it was a good way to start because lets you know what this whole ship is sort of named after. As a Canadian, my American history is uh, probably not as good as the uh, average person in here. So, oh, <laughs> we're gonna go check out in here. This is like the sleeping quarters and stuff, I believe. So we did have to uh, park the stroller. Dad, or, Brad called ahead of time and asked if it was accessible, and they said absolutely, but I would beg to differ. Cool. A little sailor here. I found a little sailor. Right here. Yeah. These steps are absolutely huge. They get blocked over. Whoa. It has like a smell. The smell in here reminds me of like the cabins at camp. There's some state rooms. What'd you find down here? Badges. Tight in here. Bigger mm -hmm. banana shaped. Yeah. Uh, 
radar is the SPS 49, which is a two dimensional mm -hmm. two hundred Bit of a clever design. Get those up and got storage underneath. literally just like sat over there and like ate snacks and watched planes for like almost an hour because the weather is just so gorgeous today like perfect okay this guy in the yellow hat here just told us that this little hole is a relief tube <laughs> Making a left turn. Gotta get off the top half of the ship because it is already almost four o'clock. <laughs> and it's only open for another hour and we haven't seen the lower deck. So let's go. Cool. Okay, this is pretty trippy. It's five stories. Is that the engine? I think so. Four stories. Right, Dex is also accessible. We thought we were going to have to pull her out of the stroller, which we did not want to do because she's sleeping again. 
feel like we're not getting the whole thing. Right, it feels like we got stuck on like halfway through the tour coming down this way. Ooh. Cool. Recipes. Oh my gosh, I love that. So there is a section of the lower deck that is inaccessible, and so what they've done is put little previews of the area that is inaccessible. Midway's medical is windows cool. departments provided preventive, routine, and emergency care to more than 5,500 personnel in the carrier battle group. Five doctors and about 30 corpsmen provided medical services to the crew and the air wing. Although most medical services were handled on an outpatient basis, Sick Bay was equipped to deal with everything from day-to-day -day sicknesses and injuries to mass battle casualties. Medical facilities included a 20-bed inpatient ward, a one-bed intensive care unit, a one-bed isolation room, two operating rooms, a laboratory, pharmacy, and x-ray facilities. The most common injury aboard Midway was a head laceration. Four dental officers and nine dental technicians provided almost every type of dental treatment available to civilians. Okay, my turn to go around the loop now. Brad's with baby. I probably will be faster than him because I watched most of those videos and so I saw lots of it already. It's a very touchy. It's a messy executive officer is second in command of the area in his stateroom. That's the executive officer. They call it Tom Ohio and has some tricks to find out. It's a little bit of a fancy.
Thanks. A barber shop. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, it's fancy in here. down here. Well, oh, there's another one of those spots for the fallen soldiers. Okay, let's go back around to find Brad. There's like literally like eight minutes left for me to see this engine. Cool. Oh, it smells like plasticine down here. Ooh, lots of stairs. Ooh. Cool. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Oh, look at how much it is. Cool. My husband came through first because our baby was sleeping and he took forever. So I get to rip through. Oh. <laughs> That's mom life though, right? comes up. Man, they were really rushing us out of there. Like, there was still five minutes left and I wanted to do the sick bay and they were like, nope, you can't go down there. It's closing in five minutes. And I was like, okay. And then we had to change her and I forgot these. So we have to go turn them back in now. <laughs> okay, we came over kind of where this statue was and we're gonna watch the sunset. My eyelashes didn't last today. The right one fell off. So that's why I don't have any eyelashes anymore. The sky 
I got fiery. It is gorgeous. And there is a serious party happening on that ship now. Brad found us this cute little place to eat dinner. What's it called? Brigand, brigantine seafood and oyster. Market. Show me what you're reading. What I'm eating? No, what you're reading. What's the name? Right, okay. Brigantine. We got ourselves some Brussels sprouts. Look at how cute. There's like the ship right out behind me. Star of India. Star of India. What a nice view. Okay, next day. I uh, forgot to close out the vlog. So I'm just going to give my last little thoughts on the USS Midway. Um, so it's said on Google people spend an average of three to four hours there. We ended up spending five. Um, we got there at noon. They closed at five. Um, we probably would have stayed there even a little bit longer. Um, the reason we spent that long a time is because the weather was just so gorgeous. We just wanted to sit up on the like deck and like watch the planes fly. It was really good. Um, the other thing is, is they they want everyone out by five. It's not like oh, it's five o'clock. Start rounding people up and get them out of the museum. It's like no, like. It was like quarter two and they were like already trying to get us to leave. So like we felt like we still had 15 minutes left in that museum, but they were like, no, you have to start leaving because we close at five. Do you know what I mean? Like it, which is like drastically different than what I'm used to from like a theme park. So I guess that's, I don't know if that's a museum thing or if that's just a that place thing. They were doing some sort of like a concert, like a night activity um so i also don't know maybe that was the reason why they were being so strict about getting us out right at five was because they wanted to start letting people in for the like evening act. like it was like a concert or something upstairs yeah um so we saw everything except for the like the sick bay right? yeah yeah but the guy that we were working with he told me that they have a full operating room and a full dental facility so it would have been cool to see but that's okay it's kind of just cool to know that it was there um the other thing about that museum is when I was on the ship I kind of was like mm, this is okay this is kind of cool but in hindsight I feel like it was cooler than I thought it was because like what's so impressive about that museum is that there is like that it's an entire like the whole museum is like like history like it's like the building itself is the boat so like a lot of what you're looking at is like what it's like to be on like a military ship but you're on the ship like it's not them just like replicating these living quarters for you to see what it would be like like you're literally there on like the boat so that's probably what's coolest about it what did you think was coolest i like just the, the flight deck the rooftop deck. flight deck is probably the best part, for sure. All the like, like it's cool that not, there's only one ship on the boat that's a replica. Every other ship on the, or every other plane or helicopter or whatever, they're all real, which is really, really cool. The one that's a replica is because there's none uh, anywhere on the whole world, except they said the bottom of the ocean still exist so yeah anyways i hope you enjoyed the vlog thanks for watching Bye bye, bye.